Welcome to Easy Lathe. In this video we will produce a component from scratch using predominantly DXF processing. First thing to do we will have a look at speeds and feeds that we are likely to be using on this job. Out brass, it's quarter AF hexagon which is more or less seven millimeters diameter shall we say rough turning high speed steel right around the 3000 rpm and 178 millimeters per minute should be quick never mind feed per rev half a mil two thousand Quite reasonable. Even finishing. Okay, now we've got that out of the way, we'll go to the DXF processor and we'll load a DXF. Go to samples, open drain body, and there we are. That's a drain cock for steam engine. We're going to machine all through there and drill it and thread it. So to begin stock diameter 7 pretty well right for the quarter AF hexagon it's an OD turning operation and we need to change the tool for OD turning it's a diamond tangential short face and turn and it's a sharp pointed tool clearance of 0.5 spindle speed will bring that up to 3000 we'll leave these as they are for a small component like this and there we are set we'll just check compile full programs so starting from scratch that should be checked and we will select this and this face process and there we are have a look at it in the uh, simulator looks good right for the next stage we will uncheck compile full programs and that will add the G code to the end of the editor. Most things stay the same here with the exception of the tool. We're going to use this one, tool 4, a straight 55 degree diamond. We'll leave all that the same. We'll clear the existing selections and we'll select where we're going this time. Right, once that's all done, it's telling me it said adding it to the end of the editor, and there it is. If we go up here, for now we'll just get rid of that M30. So this should follow straight on from that, and we'll have a look in the simulator. There we are. And we can even see where we are with the program on screen and in the list box there. Now we've gone to tool change and there. One thing you may notice these cutting paths not at the same point as the workpiece that is because of the shape of the tool that we used which is this one so we're getting a bit of gouging coming in from that we'll prove the point just by disabling that tool and just regenerate and there we are so infinitely sharp fine tool 
would produce a profile like that. Enable it again. Regenerate. I think I prefer that anyway. You can see a little bit of undercut in, in other places. <clears throat> For this it's not a problem. We can also overlay the original DXF to see it more clearly. Okay, the next step in this, I think we'll go to the Favorites tab and we'll pick up some standard drilling routines. The first BS1 center drill, which I have in tool 6. Copy that out of there and we'll just paste it to the bottom like so. Change the speed. We'll go and fly out for that. And then we'll do a deep hole drill cycle. So we'll pick that up. And all my notes are in bold, and I can see that 8, 9, and 10 are ER16 collets. I know that 8 is set up at the moment as a 1mm drill. So that's what we'll use. Just run the speed down a little bit slower, say two six. That'll do. Here we'll go twenty one deep. We'll leave the peck depth as it is, and that should be fine. So, center drill and drill. A quick look. Beautiful. All right, while we're at the favorites, we'll just pick up the parting off. Bit more handwork with this one. We just use the pop up menu, paste it there. I have two parting off tools, we'll use 19. Slow it down a bit. Only hit the roof otherwise. Stock diameter plus clearance will go along at 8. We'll part off the length which is 19. Part just over centre so avoiding a facing cut. We'll come back to 8 and Home. Okay, that's more or less the complete job, but we want to thread it. So we'll go to the threading calculator and Whitworth thread form is selected. We will go 40 TPI, outside diameter 3 16 We'll be using a sharp tool, no radius, so we'll just get rid of this radius value. And that's now been entered over here, which is the G76 side of things. Check the in feed, 26 is good. Z axis start at 2. Stock is starting at zero. Z axis end minus 4.5, about right. A few other parameters X clearance, spindle speed, lathe tool. We'll just use something a bit more appropriate for this very small thread. We'll run forward. It's nice to have it a right hand thread. We'll set a number of cuts. This calculates constant area cuts, so we'll just wind down to give us a decent 
final cut. We'll just have a spring pass for luck. And that should do. So we'll just generate the G code and exit. And it's been inserted at the end of the job. So we'll just cut that out of there. And we'll put it just after that first operation, which is where the screw thread is going to go. So, paste, and there we are. The excess line. That should be close. A bit of adjustment. And yes, it's close. We can see the size of the screw cut and tool is too large to put that thread on at that depth. The shoulder's at 4.76, the tip of the tool is at around 5. We'll pull back half a millimetre. Here, I would like a flat face when I finished. Now I know that's 19, that's one and a half. So we'll pull that back to 20. So I make those changes, said 4.5. And the drill down to 20. That should be right. We'll confirm that. Yes. Nice flat face, no longer hitting the shoulder. All is good. You can select here and just cycle through the cuts if we want to. That's the screw cutting. Now we are. in there. Once we're satisfied, save the job. It's probably good practice to save at a number of points in the generation of this program. Just call it drain body one, save, and there we go. We can continue to edit and save that until we're totally happy with it and that will run on the Mac 3 with hopefully no problems. Thank you for watching.